Hey guys, Arcade Adam, back with another video, and in this one, we're going to take a look at adding games to Hyperspin the hard way using Rocket Launcher. So get buckled up. Alright, to start, we're going to make a couple of assumptions. We're going to assume you've got a setup where you've got Rocket Launcher installed, you've got Hyperspin installed, you've got some things, you've got your... Uh, games list. So in this case, we're going to be adding a game to a PC games list. So instead of adding the new game to the main wheel, we're going to add it to the PC game sub wheel. So the first thing you're going to do is open up Explorer, go to, in our case, D, Arcade, Databases, and find the PC games XML file. I recommend you use Notepad++ to open this up, but you can use regular Notepad, WordPad, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, so the game we're going to be adding today is called Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Some of you might be aware. Uh, so to keep things alphabetical, we're just going to find the G's and uh, find a spot to put Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. And the way I do this is I copy the code. So from game name, which in this case is Grand Theft Auto, down to backslash game, that is an entire snippet of one entry per game. So all I did was copy it make a space, and paste it. So now we've got two Grand Theft Auto 5s. We're going to turn one of those into Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. So the next thing we're going to do is, I've again with the assumptions, I've assumed you've already downloaded the game. It's on your hard drive somewhere. In our case, it's D, Arcade, Customer Requests, and then it's in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. So what I do, because I can't spell for anything, is I copy the name. So once you're inside the game, usually you have a game folder, and then in there there's a launcher, loader.exe, or the game executable. Um, in this instance, because we're on an arcade, we're going to take the game loader.exe and make a shortcut to it. Um, so I'm going to copy the name of the game, like I was talking about, because I can't spell. And I'm going to take my shortcut to the loader.exe and make it this the actual name of the game. And what the loader exe does is just make sure your control panel can work. It does some things like disabling USB, setting up new key combinations, that sort of thing. So uh, what we're gonna do after that is you gotta take that shortcut and put it in the wheel. So we have a PC games wheel that we've already set up. So in this case, the arcade PC games, and we're gonna paste the shortcut in there. That's all we're gonna do. So that's the file you created for that loader. So that Shortcut points to loader.exe, so I'm going to copy the name once more, go back to our database, and then paste it in the game name, and then also paste it in the game description. Game name has to be the same thing as all the artworks named, and description can be actually anything, but that's what actually shows up in Hyperspin in the lower left. Uh, so once you've got that, um, you go back into Rocket Launcher, or open Rocket Launcher, I should say. We didn't have that open. And then you scroll down to your PC games wheel, because that's what we added it to. Um, and then this gets a little bit tricky, so I'll slow down here. So in Rocket Launcher, you want to go to Module Settings, and then edit the PC Launcher module. Um, sometimes you'll have more than one module per wheel. Sometimes it'll just be one. In this case, it's a little confusing because we have you know the eDuke and the DXWind. Don't worry about those. PC games need PC Launcher to run, so that's what we're going to select. Make sure PC Launcher is highlighted. And then we want to go and open up the system-specific module settings. So it's the third icon from the end. So if you just highlight over, Rocket Launcher you know, shows you the tooltip so you can see that. You do not want to edit global module settings. You want to edit system-specific module settings. Uh, globally would mess things up for other systems. So we go down to the Gs and we notice Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is not there. We hit the plus mark and... Oh, I, I'm an idiot, and I didn't want to reshoot this video. <laughs> I didn't hit save on that database. So back in our text editor, see how it's red? I didn't hit save. If you hit save, you're good to go. It's still in there. Now if we go back to Rocket Launcher um, and open that up, you have to exit the module settings, unfortunately, because it kind of reads the database file. So we'll edit system-specific module settings again. We'll go down to the Gs. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus won't be there because um, you have to hit the plus mark. And now it's in the list ready to be added. And to add it, you just double click on it. And then you got two more steps. We're almost there. It's not that bad. So 
the next thing we need to tell Rocket Launcher is where the executable is. And the easiest thing is, if you still have your shortcut open, you right click that, hit properties, and open up the path. You know, basically the same as what you did before. If you can remember it where it was, D Arcade Customer Request Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. That's all I was after. I just wanted to, the path. So I paste the path in there. And the initial launcher is that loader exe, like I was telling you about, it's because it does some things that enables it to run on a control panel. Um, you can use the actual game executable if you don't need to change any of the controller settings. It's a little bit specific. We can make a different video on that later. But in this instance, the game launch, we want to get, we'll first launch the loader. Then the loader launches the game itself. So that app wait, that's the second thing we needed to click on. We go back into the game directory. And then this is the game itself because Rocket Launcher uses this to wait for the game to close so it knows when to close the game scripts. It's a little bit complicated, trust me, but basically that's the one you want to pick is the actual game executable. In some instances, like I was saying, both of those would be the same thing. They would both be the game name. Next thing you want to do is click on the little rocket icon because that acts as a test launcher as if you were actually in hyperspin. You'll see it loads up the fade screen and everything. So we'll click that. We got our fade screen and we go straight into the game. And we'll just wait for this to start up here, but there we go. Game autosave, whatever, click OK. And uh, I think, yep, there we go. Checking data. We should launch just fine. All right, that's a good sign. You never know with the built-in scripts. Um, sometimes they mess up, sometimes they need a little tweaking. So, like I said, different video. We'll deal with controls on another uh, day or another video, but hey, we got the game. I honestly have not taken the time to play this one, but I definitely have it on my short list. But uh, if you guys got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I know I did that pretty quick. Um, but it's just a matter of moving things around with shortcuts and uh, getting things working. Wow, that's loud. Anyway, getting things working with uh, rocket launcher and uh, things like that. So rewind the video. Let me know if you got any questions or comments. I can put it in the uh, description down below. And we just want to check and make sure we got artwork and hyperspin. But yeah, we got our... Grand Blue Fantasy Versus game in our PC wheel. So we're good to go. Uh, thanks, you guys, for subscribing. Please hit that like button if you like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.